ideas this is taji we are learning the chapter hydrogen chloride in this chapter we need to learn the chemical properties of hydrochloric acid how hydrochloric acid will be reacting with these many compounds what will be the product of the reaction their observation also they will be asking for the exam in this video we are going to discuss the reaction of hydrochloric acid with metal metal oxide carbonate bicarbonate and nitrates and at the end of the video i have kept the board questions also related to this topic okay yeah so let's start with the chemical properties of hydrochloric acid now see this one we are going to learn how a metal can react with dilute hydrochloric acid right and see yeah. we are taking little bit of zinc granule we are adding that into dilute hydrochloric acid what will be the reaction taking place yeah see the position of zinc in the reactivity series will be above hydrogen remember metals which are above hydrogen in the reactivity series will be capable of displacing hydrogen from acids correct so what will be the reaction taking place you will be getting zinc chloride along with that hydrogen gas will be produced got it okay yeah same way you write one more example you are taking magnesium ribbon and adding that into dilute hydrochloric acid so what will be the reaction yeah see where is the position of magnesium it is above hydrogen so it is capable of displacing hydrogen from the acid you will be getting magnesium chloride along with that hydrogen gas will be produced correct yeah now write and see what will happen when some iron filings are added to hydrochloric acid what will be the reaction taking place you will be getting ferrous chloride fecl2 will be formed along with that hydrogen gas will be produced got it no okay yeah. now write one more reaction you are taking little bit of copper and adding uh, hydrochloric acid into that what will be the reaction taking place yeah some people will jump up on and write the answer copper chloride and hydrogen <laughs> reaction won't be taking place what's the reason yeah check the position of copper in the reactivity series it is below hydrogen metals which are yeah present below hydrogen in the reactivity series like copper mercury silver gold and platinum they are incapable of displacing hydrogen from the acid so copper will not react with dilute acid will you remember so you should write no reaction got it okay yes along with this you will have to remember one test for hydrogen also whenever the gas is evolving out of the test tube you will be showing a glowing spleen at the mouth of the test tube so if it is hydrogen gas you can hear a pop sound got it now let's see what will happen when hydrochloric acid will react with the base right and see you know that sodium hydroxide yeah when treated with dilute hydrochloric acid what will be the reaction yeah double displacement reaction will be taking place correct no you will be getting sodium chloride and water okay yeah. what is this reaction known as it's known as neutralization reaction acid will be neutralized by a base to produce salt and water we call it as neutralization reaction you know that right one more example what will happen when potassium hydroxide is reacting with hydrochloric acid you will be getting potassium chloride along with that water also will be produced okay there is nothing new in that i'll show you one more page now see this one we need to learn what will be the reaction of metal oxide with dilute hydrochloric acid before writing that let's try to understand one more point we have a magnesium ribbon with us yeah and we are heating that magnesium ribbon yeah what will happen right and see magnesium will be combining with oxygen to form magnesium oxide so you can see that magnesium oxide as a white powder you are taking that magnesium oxide and adding into water then the solution is tested with a red litmus paper you can observe that the color of the red litmus will be turning into blue 
why it is happening right and see magnesium oxide will be reacting with water to form magnesium hydroxide mgoh twice yeah so why the color of the litmus is turning blue yeah because of the formation of a base magnesium hydroxide correct repeat the same experiment with calcium oxide okay so calcium oxide when added to water right and see what will happen you will be getting a base calcium hydroxide okay if you are inserting a red litmus paper into this it will be turning blue correct yeah because the solution is basic in nature so repeat the same experiment using potassium oxide sodium oxide so you will be getting the same observation so from this observation we are concluding that metal oxides are generally basic in nature exceptions are also there we will learn about that later okay so metal oxides are generally basic in nature then how they will be going to react with hydrochloric acid right and see magnesium oxide when reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid yeah this is acting as a base now and hydrochloric acid is the acid right now which reaction will be taking place neutralization reaction will be taking place you will be getting salt and water agreed okay yes that's a reaction so you should remember so always remember the point metal oxides are generally basic in nature right one more example we had discussed that copper will not react with dilute hydrochloric acid but copper oxide can react with dilute hydrochloric acid what's the reason copper oxide is basic in nature correct yeah it can react with acid to form copper chloride cucl2 along with that yeah water will be formed this reaction is famous okay yeah you can see this reaction in papers what's the color of copper oxide it is black in color black colored copper oxide yeah when reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid will be converted into blue colored copper chloride okay you should remember that now let's see what will be the reaction when dilute hydrochloric acid reacts with carbonate and bicarbonate write one example of a carbonate sodium carbonate na2co3 reacting with dilute hydrochloric acid how to predict the product of the reaction remember whenever you are adding dilute acid to a carbonate definitely one product of the reaction will be carbon dioxide another product of the reaction will be water along with that a salt also will be formed in this case that is sodium chloride ec we predicted the product of the reaction also okay right one more example calcium carbonate is reacting with dilute hydrochloric acid you will be getting yeah carbon dioxide as one product and water as another product and here yeah the salt produced will be calcium chloride now what will be the product obtained when dilute hydrochloric acid is reacting with a bicarbonate we will write and see sodium bicarbonate and hydrochloric acid okay yeah in this case also the gas produced will be carbon dioxide and another product obtained will be water along with that a salt also will be formed in this case that is sodium chloride okay yeah. remember whenever you are adding a dilute acid to a carbonate or bicarbonate one product obtained will be carbon dioxide and another product obtained will be water so you will have to remember one test for carbon dioxide also how can you detect the presence of carbon dioxide gas it is a colorless odorless gas so we will pass it through lime water lime water will be turning milky if so we can confirm that the gas produced is carbon dioxide now see this one we have silver nitrate solution to that we are adding dilute hydrochloric acid it is easy to predict the product of the reaction see this one right and see you will be getting silver chloride it is a white precipitate okay along with that dilute nitric acid also will be formed now right and see what will be the reaction of lead nitrate with dilute hydrochloric acid yeah in the same way we can predict the product of the reaction okay yeah see 
you will be getting lead chloride this is also a white precipitate yeah along with that yeah nitric acid also will be formed correct no whenever you are getting silver chloride and lead chloride as a product of the reaction yeah you will be getting the question what will be the observation of the reaction we have discussed the same concept in analytical chemistry chapter also i will share the link of that video also you can just go through that yeah what is so special about silver chloride it is a white precipitate that is soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide solution after getting the precipitate if you are adding excess of ammonium hydroxide into this solution yeah what will happen yeah silver chloride will be soluble in that correct no okay so always you should remember this point about silver chloride and what about lead chloride whenever you are getting lead chloride as a product of the reaction they will ask you what will be the observation of the reaction so you can add one more sentence what is so special about lead chloride it's a white precipitate insoluble in cold water but soluble in hot water after getting the precipitate suppose you are heating the test tube what will happen yeah the precipitate dissolves got it in order to answer that observation type of question yeah you will have to remember these two extra points about silver chloride and lead chloride got it yes see this board questions these are the questions related to the chemical properties of hydrochloric acid and i have taken the questions related to what we have discussed now read and find out refer to the flow chart diagram below and give balanced equations with conditions if any for the following conversions a to d we have sodium chloride so they are asking how it can be converted into hydrogen chloride we know that okay in the previous video also we were learning how to prepare hydrogen chloride gas in the laboratory we will take some sodium chloride and we will add concentrated sulfuric acid into that okay then what will be the temperature we will not heat the mixture beyond 200 degrees celsius okay yeah. below 200 degrees celsius if you are heating what will happen you will be getting sodium bisulfate along with that yeah hydrogen chloride gas also will be getting got it no yes so one part is over now again they are asking once you are getting hydrogen chloride yeah how it can be converted into iron 2 chloride iron 2 chloride is nothing but fecl2 what is iron 3 chloride fecl3 but they are asking how can you prepare fecl2 yeah how can you prepare it now only we have discussed right and see yeah we will have to add hydrochloric acid okay yeah, not hydrogen chloride gas but hydrochloric acid we are adding to iron filings so what will happen yeah you will be getting fecl2 along with that yeah hydrogen gas also will be liberated okay you will have to balance the equation yes so that also we got it okay now again they are asking how hydrogen chloride can be converted into ammonium chloride is there any way you will be knowing that right yeah hydrogen chloride gas when treated with ammonia gas what will happen both will react together to form yeah a solid substance ammonium chloride will be formed got it no yeah we got that answer also now how can we convert hydrogen chloride gas into lead chloride hydrochloric acid you can treat it with a lead nitrate solution okay yeah so, so what will be the reaction yeah you will be getting lead chloride pbcl2 along with that nitric acid also will be formed correct no yeah so that will be the reaction so we got the answer of all these questions yes now see this question write balanced chemical equation for the following reaction calcium bicarbonate and dilute hydrochloric acid write and see what's the formula of calcium bicarbonate ca co3 twice we are treating it with dilute hydrochloric acid okay yeah what will be the product obtained whenever we are adding a dilute acid into a bicarbonate definitely one product of the reaction will be carbon dioxide another product obtained will be water we can confirm that along with that a salt also will be formed in this case what is the possibility of that salt that is calcium chloride okay yeah see we got the answer 
Now read the next one. State what is the observation when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to silver nitrate solution. They are not asking the balanced chemical equation. Instead of that what is the observation they are asking. Simply you write and see what will be the product of the reaction silver nitrate and hydrochloric acid. So you will be getting silver chloride and nitric acid. Whenever they are asking what is the observation of the reaction, yeah, how you will write the answer? Yeah, when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to silver nitrate solution, we will be getting a white precipitate that will be soluble in excess of ammonium hydroxide solution you should write. Got it? Okay, yeah, so that is a way to write the answer. You should remember that. Read the next one. Dilute hydrochloric acid is added to lead nitrate solution and the test tube is heated. So write and see what will happen. They are not asking the balanced chemical equation but you just write and see. Okay, you can predict the product of the reaction easily. Lead nitrate and hydrochloric acid. You will be getting lead chloride and then nitric acid also will be getting. So how to write the observation of the reaction when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to lead nitrate solution we will be getting a white precipitate that is insoluble in cold water and soluble in hot water. See they are asking it specifically what will happen when the test tube is heated. So you can tell that yeah this white precipitate dissolves upon heating. Got it? Now read this question, a black metal oxide A is heated and hydrogen gas is passed over it. Black color of A changes to reddish brown. A when treated with dilute hydrochloric acid turn blue in color. Identify the compound A they are asking. So did you get any idea about that compound? Yes, okay, the compound is copper oxide. Yeah, copper oxide when treated with hydrogen gas, what will happen? What's the color of copper oxide? It is black in color. Okay, yeah, when it is reacting with hydrogen, yeah, it will be taking away this oxygen from copper oxide. Why? Because hydrogen is a very good reducing agent. So, as a result, you will be getting copper and water. So, what will be the change in color? Black color of copper oxide will be changing to reddish brown. Okay, yes, you got it. Now, copper oxide when treated with dilute hydrochloric acid. Now, only we discussed, okay, yeah, copper will not react with dilute hydrochloric acid, but copper oxide being basic in nature can react with dilute hydrochloric acid, resulting in the formation of copper chloride, CuCl2, and yeah, water also will be formed along with it correct no yeah so what will be the color of copper chloride yeah it will be blue in color the color of the solution will be turning blue so our compound a is copper oxide got it related to the chemical properties of dilute hydrochloric acid you could answer these many questions yeah see you in the next video thanks